Welcome to the CMCC Esports Business Tricky Towers Tournament. We're about to get underway here. Oh, that's on their end. This event is put on by Sam. My name is Darren. I'll be attempting to cast this. So Tricky Towers is a more complicated Tetris, as I, as I understand. Uh, we are looking to get the players kind of set up here and ready to go. Before we start, I don't exactly know the names of the players as of right now, so I'll be referring to the players as player one, two, three, and four from left to right. One, two, three, four. I think somebody needed an Xbox controller instead of a PlayStation controller, even though the button layouts are the same. So we are getting underway here shortly. Right, we are underway. So with survival, if I remember correctly, the players need to keep their pieces on the board. So that, that is one thing that makes Tricky Towers different from regular Tetris is there's actual gravity effects. As you can see, player one's pieces fell off. And they're losing points. Looks like you get three strikes. Player one's character is now about to be out. Player four just lost a piece off the edge. So that's one heart. You get three strikes. Oh, that was a big fall by player three. Player two is actually performing the best so far. It seems like. Oh, player four is out as well. Oh, <laughs> it's like Tetris meets Jenga. Somehow, oh, player three, even though they were behind in the in the building department, actually won because everybody else had pieces fall off the map. So as you can see, first place gets three ribbons, second place two, third place gets one ribbon. This next game mode that they're going to be playing is a race. So basically the players are to build build as high as possible to get to the checkered finish line flag up above at the top of your screen. Player one has sort of an awkward, awkward piece, but it seems to be pretty stable so far. And they are currently in the lead as far as height goes. Player four making a very efficient, very efficient uh, design, though they are going a little slower because of it. Player one loses a piece. Player two making a very, very flimsy top. I feel like the player twos will crash at any at any moment. Player three may actually catch up to player two because of that. Player one's still, still building pretty high, and it looks like they've they've kind of stabilized. This this block that they're placing now, this square block, might have trouble. Uh, player three, so this is this is just a race, so nothing happens for with player three falling over like that. It just puts them further behind. Player four seems to be balancing a little bit janky. We'll see how they how they do building from from here on out. It seems to be kind of neck and neck from between player one and player four. We'll see who can uh, cross that line first. Player one getting very close, although they are kind of stacking player two very close to winning. But when you stack really really tall and thin like that. Woo! 
Player four. Player four actually kind of snuck from behind. And gets to the line before. Wow, so that brought that brought player three up to pretty close. Almost almost in the lead. We'll have to see the, the scores again when they when they pop back up. Uh, in, in this puzzle game mode, players have to place as many blocks as possible while remaining underneath the orange line you see about halfway up the halfway up the, the screen. Once you cross over that line, you get a chance to player one is out already. Player four is now out. They crossed the line. Player two is very close. Looks like they're going to pass the line right now. Player three is still in it. So what... What this game does is once all players cross the line, like what just happened there with player three, it's going to count up the number of blocks underneath the line. It looks like player two wins. Yep. Player two actually stacked that very efficiently. I'm impressed. All right. So as, as they gain ribbons with each, with each placing in, in the event, they gain points toward... I believe it's first to 12 ribbons actually wins wins the entire match here. We have eight total players. This is the first round of four players. We're in another race here. So again, players will attempt to build as high as they can and be the first to reach that checkered finish line flag. I'm a little uneducated on what the powers do so in this game each player is playing as a wizard and they have they have powers the lightning bolt does reverse a, a block that you, that the player just played player one having a little trouble staying steady there player four making a very very efficient even though they're in second place very efficient and as i say that as i say that they start to struggle a little bit player three it's also making a tightly packed. You can see who's actually good at Tetris. I'm not. I tried to play this game the other day. They're doing they're all doing better than I did actually. Player 2s doesn't look quite as pretty as player 3 or 3 or 4s, but it looks like they might actually make it to the the finish line first. We'll see how this plays out. All players kind of neck and neck and neck and neck. Player 2 might have it if they can keep their their tower up for three seconds there it is player two wow i don't know how that stayed up at the top there but it did yeah so player two doing pretty well getting close they just need three more rib ribbons so if they if they get a first place here in this survival again you get three you get three strikes if you if a block of yours falls off the map. So a player can win by everybody else getting knocked out, or they can win when they use all of their pieces without without getting three strikes. <laughs> player two, their tower's getting a little little janky, but I believe that. That vine power they just used kind of keeps all those pieces in place. Player three using some stone looking pieces. I assume that makes them more stable. All players are doing pretty well at this point. It seems like they're practiced up. Nobody's lost a piece off the edge yet. Player two's playing a dangerous game stacking this high and they lose the, the piece first. Player four is looking a little. Ooh. Yeah, both player two and player four are starting to lose pieces rapidly now. Once you, yeah, player four is out. Once you get that crooked tower, gravity just kind of takes over. Player two looking scary. 
They are out as well. Player one loses a couple pieces in a row and they're having trouble. They're having trouble like the other two did. Player three is looking very stable. They they win this. It's turning out to be closer than I thought it was going to be. So that should bring player three up pretty close to player two in the overall score. Yeah, player three is now two behind. Of course, player three is called Sam Guba 2. All right, so we're in a race again. It's going to be first player to build high enough to cross that finish line. If player two gets there and wins this round, they will they will win this whole match and advance in the tournament. If player three wins this one, they will take the lead. So it's really the closest game between players two and three. as far as overall ribbons go. Player four is always making a very, a very pretty, very pretty tower. Sometimes at the detriment of a slower stacking process, you can see player two is stacking very quickly. Player three close behind. Actually, player three is in first place currently. They are losing some pieces though. Player two is going, going straight up playing a very dangerous game. This is looking scary. Player three is the first to lose some pieces off their top, though. They are instantly in fourth place because of that. Player two might take this. I like that strategy of player two. Oh, player two loses it, though. That's the risk you play with going so high. Looks like player one's going to take this round. If it can stay up. Nope. Tipped over. Everybody's everybody's feeling the pressure. Stacking a little fast. Player one takes it. Wow, it was looking it was looking shaky for them. Wow, this is a very close game. Player one is now back in it. Player four, a little far behind. So we are now playing puzzle again. Again, players need to basically stack as many blocks as they can while remaining underneath that orange line that you see about halfway up the screen. Player three seems to be doing this very well, stacking very efficiently. I think they're going to be, be able to squeeze a lot of, a lot of blocks in there. Player two also doing the same thing. Player four has crossed the line, so they are out. Looks like with one, two, three, four, five, six pieces. Player one only has three pieces stacked below the line. It's looking like... Oh, player two lost a piece. It's actually looking like player three might take this. If they can... They can place a couple more pieces without crossing that line. They are they should be good. No, player three loses a couple. That is a bummer. I think player two might have taken it because of that. Yeah, there it is. And player two should be advancing. Player two should be advancing here. There it is. Of course, again, player two is Sam Guba one. Because player one is just Sam Guba. So player two will be advancing. All right. I think we're going to be getting... I think we are going to be getting the next set of four players set up here. Let's see. And... In a minute, I will attempt to find out the name of that winning player from that first, from that first round. All right, do 
doing some behind the scenes stuff. Looks like we're into our next set of four players. When when I when we finish this set of four players, uh, we'll find out the names of the two winners. So what's going to happen is after this after this match here, we'll we'll find the winner, and then those two, the winner from the first round, and then the winner from this round, will go against each other in a one v one. All right, so the players are going to have the same name because I don't know who's actually playing. So player one on the far left, player four on the far right. We're playing a game of puzzle. All the players are trying to squeeze as many pieces as they can below the yellow line or orange line. Looks like so far players two and four are looking pretty, pretty good here. I feel like the tighter you can pack your... The tighter you can pack your Tetris tower here, the more pieces you can fit. Oh, wow. Player four, unfortunately, loses a bunch of pieces off of that, which might give player one a chance to make sort of a comeback here. And it actually looks like player one, if they don't lose any pieces, they might actually have more than player two. Right now, it looks like Player two, wow, player two and three, little draw. And both players will get the three ribbons as if either of them got first place. They both technically got first place. All right, we are now playing survival between these four new contestants. In this one, you have to make sure you don't lose Pieces three times, those hearts underneath the floating wizards indicate basically your three strikes. <clears throat> and those players have to kind of play a little safer so they don't build a wobbly tower. Because once you get some leans like player four is doing now, it's hard to set anything down. I think player four is actually going to struggle to place a lot of pieces now at this point, unless they can build a more stable base. Those two pieces on the left. This is like a tower that I was building yesterday when I played it. So that's that's two strikes for player four already. Player one, the only one without losing a piece yet. <clears throat> player four still going to struggle kind of building and player one loses their first piece. Player four is going to definitely keep having issues with the way their tower is uh, leaning at this point on the left side. Ooh, player three is out. Player four might be out as well. Yes, they are. That's player one taking it. That would have definitely knocked their tower down. But because they won, they get the crown, essentially. The tower topper. All right, race. See who can get to the finish line first in this, in this race battle. Player one is in the overall lead now. Player two seems to be kind of at a, a fast pace here. We'll see if, if they can continue that as they continue to build higher and higher. Player three is going to really struggle to maintain height with how much angles they have now. Yeah, their tower is not going to like how they have things positioned. It's looking like as far as stability goes, player two will probably have the most stable, stable tower. Which is what it's all about, because even if you cross the finish line first, you have your tower has to remain. Your tower has to remain above that finish line. In other words, it can't fall over before three seconds is up. Or else you have to keep building. This is looking pretty good for player two right now. Player four is in second place, very close, which is surprising with the with the start they had. Sort of building a Yeah, player four. Gonna struggle with stability. I think the rest of their build, their tower. 
Player two might be playing this a little risky. They're trying, they see the finish line ahead. Stacking very tall, but they will take the win. The good thing it's not a five second counter and it's a three second counter or else that would have fallen. I, I think that is a tall tower. Player one, firmly in the lead now. Sorry, that's player two. My apologies. Player one was out pretty quickly there. Player two firmly in the lead. We are now back into a puzzle. We'll see who can fit the most pieces underneath that orange line. This mode might end up actually favoring some of the others who might not be as quick to build a tall tower or as or as safe to build a stable tower because you just have to squeeze in as many pieces as possible. Oh, I like I like what player three went for there. It was risky, but I like that play. Trying to sneak a, a piece in sort of from the side. Player four is actually keeping up pretty well in this game mode. Player three has now crossed that line. They are not knocked out yet, but they are done play, playing pieces, placing pieces. Player two, same thing for them. Looks like player four might actually be able to. That was a good play there. They, they erased their previous piece so that they could place that block piece, that box piece. They are now above the line. It looks like it's going to be between players two and four. And player four takes it. Somebody moved moved away from the computer a little bit too far and unplugged their controller. Yeah, player four. Big victory there to kind of keep them in this game. All right. So we are back in survival game mode. So three game modes in this game. All look very, very fun, very challenging. Definitely, if you're not good at Tetris, you will struggle in this game as... I have struggled playing this myself. Player one may have made a mistake. Yeah, it looks like player one might struggle here to keep all their pieces on the board. Player four is the first to lose a piece, however. Player one, close behind. Let's see. Something froze here. I don't know if it was on their end or our end. We'll find out in a sec. Okay, we're back. It must have been on our end. A little bit of a network issue there. <clears throat> Player two firmly in the lead here in this one. They are building very high. And, and honestly, their tower is looking stable as well. Player three's out. Player four with one more chance. If they lose another piece, they, they will be out as well. Player one. Oh, that's tough. Player two is building a very stable tower. I feel like they probably could just keep building and never fall. I assume if somebody falls, gets uh, pushed off the map, like what might happen to player four here, they're out as well. And they're out anyway. They dropped a piece. Player two will take the survival Victory, we'll see how that looks in the overall ribbon score. That gives player two the victory. We have a winner from this game as well. And we will be right back as we find out the names of those two winning players who will now go against each other. Give us one second.
All right, we are back. So I was mistaken. We took we took the first and second place from both matches before. They are now against each other right now in this four player game, and this will decide our overall winner for the tournament. They're going to be playing to twelve ribbons again. Good. All right, we are going. We are playing a game of survival. Nobody's lost a piece yet. I had to step away from the computer to ensure that we started at the right time. We did. <clears throat> player two is definitely playing for height. Appears more than the other players are. Now, can they build and keep stable is the question. Player one's already looking a little tough. And yeah, looks like they will lose a piece. They will lose the first piece. Player two trying to stack high, and they will regret that as they lose another piece. Player four, the only one without a missing piece. As I say that, they lose one. Player four or player one looks like they're out now. Player four may be close behind. Things are looking shaky. Yeah, they're out as well. They were looking the strongest at first. Player three's out as well. That's player two to take this first round. That will award them three ribbons. So we're playing a tiny cup, the first two six ribbons. Will win this so if player two gets another first place they will win this is a race first across the finish line will win this round again if it's player if it's player two they will take the victory this is a local tournament and I apologize for no no game audio. We couldn't figure that out in time. But yeah, this is a local local tournament. This is for CMCC students in Auburn, Maine. And although third player three, well, they were in first place. I was about to say, although they're in first place, their tower is looking a little unstable. Player one seems to be making the most stable tower. Player four close behind. Although I said player one's making the most stable tower. Now they're looking a little risky as they're trying to as they're trying to finish this quickly. They may regret stacking like this. Player four is still kind of working with stability more than anything. Slow and steady may win this race. We'll see how this continues to go. Player one is still in the lead, but they're looking a little wobbly, and there they go. There they go. Player four is still playing the patient game. Player three is actually quietly coming up from behind. Did four make a mistake finally? I think they did. They might struggle to... I think they fixed it. Yeah, they're going to struggle to... to stack top high now as they're losing pieces left and right from the top here they're still honestly looking the most stable so far player th three loses some pieces player two is in first place currently but i don't see it okay that was very smart from player two they created an island on the right side of their tower which is kind of keeping things keeping things together barely player four needs to figure out how to get this crooked piece stabilized so they can continue to stack up did player two make a big brain play with this island we'll see how this how this transpires they do end up losing their their tower yeah 
And as I was watching the the two players who were fighting for first place, player one is quietly has quietly come from behind and is now in the lead. Player three looks like they're probably done for as they lose a big chunk of their tower. Player one now close behind. All players sort of feeling feeling the pressure here. Player four, they make it. Again, a situation where if the timer there was a little longer, they would not have won. But that is a win for player four. I don't think they had any ribbons up until this point. Okay, they had one ribbon. That'll that'll get them up to four. And very close. Now, I believe if player two even places this time, like gets a third place, they should win. Correct me if I'm wrong. If they get one ribbon. Player two may... Nope, that's stable. Player one making a, an interesting play here. Oh, player one crossed already. That's tough. Uh, player two acts... Oh, as they tried to keep a piece up, player two crossed the line too. Wow, this is a hard one. I would not be able to stack on these two pillars. No way. Player three from out of nowhere is looking the best. And there's another pull from... <laughs> people are getting a little into the game, pulling their controller out. Yeah. So player, player three should firmly have this. As I say that, they lose a piece. Somebody's trying to... I think... Did we get a four-way draw here? Or a three-way draw? I think we did, yeah. Wow. The only one who didn't who doesn't get a point here. <clears throat> wow. Wow. That's player four coming from behind. They won that last. Now I need to make sure that was the grand final. Uh, give us one second. All right, yeah, apologize for the delay. That was the grand final, and that was player four winning it. That player, their name is Joe Bay. So congratulations, Joe Bay. They have won a prize. Yeah, so we, we've been putting on these these esports events all semester here at Central Maine Community College, and this was the final one of the semester. And each one awarded some students some prizes. So Joe Bay, by winning this Tricky Towers tournament, has... One a they've usually been gift cards. I'm not sure what the prize is this time, but congratulations, Joe Bay. Thank you for watching, everyone. We're gonna wrap things up here. Let's go, Joe. That's right. All right. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this, there will be more esports events on this channel going forward. So go ahead and give us a follow if you like. Thanks again. We will see you next time.